Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I will be showing you guys how I made jewelry out of my breast milk. This breastfeeding slash pumping journey has a very special meaning to me for so many reasons. My first breastfeeding experience was many, many years ago when I nursed my son. I breastfed him for a year and a half and i never thought that i would get to experience that again because i wasn't planning on having any more children i only have one and i was okay with that but then i did this beautiful thing called surrogacy and through that i was able to help a couple become parents i got to experience the miracle of creating life for a second time and i also got to experience the beauty of breastfeeding again not only that but i also got to breastfeed a lot of creamy babies through pumping and donating and that experience was deeply rewarding for me i did not get compensated for my milk at all but the milk bank where i was donating to did provide storage bags coolers uh, delivery fees for when I would send it in um, they also sent me hand pumps and they sent me this super cute shirt I love it I think it's really cute and they also gave me a certificate once I was done donating and I thought that was really cute too I went into this pumping journey completely clueless I've breastfed before but I had never pumped before so I had no idea what I was doing and it was very challenging at first. I came to find out <laughs> that pumping is so much harder than breastfeeding. It's a lot of work. Luckily though, I joined an exclusively pumping group for surrogates on Facebook. And thanks to that group and to all the awesome ladies, I learned a lot and I was able to have a fun and successful first pumping journey. Like I said, pumping is a lot of work, but despite all of that, I had an awesome journey and it means a lot to me so I thought that it'd be fun and special if I made myself some jewelry out of my breast milk um, I'm actually wearing all of the jewelry that I made today <laughs> just for this video here I have what I call the liquid gold necklace I'm wearing the heart shape pendant as a bracelet today I do think they look better as necklaces um, but just because of this video, I wanted to wear all the jewelry and my ring. Okay, I know that I've been talking a lot. I apologize. So I'm gonna shut up now and um, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. This is the breast milk preservation kit. And this is the resin kit. Both kits come with everything that you need and instructions were very easy to follow. I got the kits from Etsy and this is who I ordered from. And I got everything else from Michaels. Here I have my freshly pumped milk. Our first step was to preserve the breast milk. So here I poured the powder into the mixing cup and then I added two milliliters of breast milk. When I started mixing, it was feeling really hard at first. You can kind of tell right here. And that scared me a little bit. <laughs> I thought that I had ruined everything. But I just kept adding more drops of milk and mixing it and uh, it started feeling softer and it finally ended up looking like this. Next, we had to spread this all over the drying sheet and let it dry for 24 hours. And 24 hours later, this is how it looked. Once it was fully dry, we had to grind it into powder. And I started using my mini molcajete to grind it, but I had washed it and the powder was getting stuck. So I decided to use this method instead. 
and after a few minutes of grinding and this is how it looked next i started the molding process i added the resin and the hardener into the little mixing cup and then i started adding pinches of breast milk powder while mixing And after a few minutes of mixing, this is how it looked. Next was time to start pouring into the molds. But first I wanted to add some gold flakes. We refer to our milk as liquid gold, so of course I had to add the gold flakes. The first shape that I'm doing here is a teardrop shape. And I chose this shape because I wanted my pendant to look like a milk drop. And here I am using the toothpick just to move the gold flakes around and to make sure that everything was even. Okay, the next shape I chose is the heart shape and I also added gold flakes. By the way, I want to apologize for the low quality of this video and all my videos. I do all my recordings with my phone. I don't have an actual camera, so I know the quality is not the best. Someone already mentioned it in the comments and made fun of the quality of my videos. Um, the comment was actually pretty funny, but yeah, I apologize for that. But anyways, next we are doing a ring. I didn't record this part, but I did add some gold flakes into the ring mold. Working with the ring molds was a little bit harder, so I did struggle a bit with this part. And now here I am making a second ring. Since the first one had gold flakes, I decided to add a little bit of glitter to this one. Originally, I was only going to make the pendants. I didn't think that I was going to have enough for rings, but I still went ahead and bought the ring molds just in case. And not only did I have enough for one, but two rings. Next, we had to let these dry for 24 hours. I was a bit impatient with this part. I kept checking on them and I just couldn't wait to get them out of the molds. But I let them dry for 24 hours and then here I am getting them out of the molds. I was kind of worried for the rings since I did have a bit of a hard time with that. But everything actually came out perfect. I tried really really hard to get good pictures. But again, the camera quality on my phone is not that great. But overall, I am very happy with how everything turned out. I am in love with these pieces. These pieces of jewelry not only represent my breastfeeding slash pumping journey, but they represent my surrogacy journey as well. So I will wear them proudly and I will carry these beautiful memories with me forever. Okay, I am here dropping off my last donation. It just hit me that this is it. 
this is the end of my puppy journey i am feeling really emotional right now i didn't think i was gonna feel this emotional i was so excited to stop and now i'm almost regretting it like so before this i dropped some milk off um for a friend and i got to see the baby and everything and after seeing him i don't know i feel so sad i feel like i should have pumped a little bit longer and donate more to her and i don't know i'm just feeling really emotional right now but yeah i'm here i'm gonna drop my milk off right now and that's that i don't know that's it <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sad.